Hey guys, it's John Keegan with theawakenlifestyle.com and I want to talk to you today about how to approach a woman. Well, for over 10,000 or 20,000, maybe even hundreds of thousands of years, we're not exactly sure, a man could never stop a woman on the street. He couldn't figure it out. Could not do it. Uh, and he didn't know how to talk to her in coffee shops. He didn't know how to talk to her in those everyday places. He had to get wasted, you know, drunk, whether it was on whiskey or some kind of crazy magic mushroom, whatever it was. He had to anesthetize himself so that he could stop thinking and then bowl himself over there and uh, give it all he had and then he'd say hi and then maybe if he got lucky he'd go home with someone he wasn't attracted to. Now this, those days are over for guys like you and me who are into self-development, self-improvement, being authentic and genuine and being connected. So I'm going to give you the short and simple answer which is you approach a woman gently, you approach a woman uh, with the uh, simple objective to disarm, to disarm, to bring down walls that might be between you. So you don't approach like a bull in a china shop. That alarms, puts up walls. We want to you know, bring down those walls that may be between us because we don't know each other. But don't assume there is any at all. Sometimes there's none. You just simply wave at someone or your very presence is very disarming. Some guys are, like myself. Uh, some guys have to work on that, you know, you know to, to gentle themselves, as our friend Shakespeare says, gentle themselves, right? So, this is really critical because now you can meet women in everyday places, walking down the street, toward you, uh, away from you, standing next to you on the street corner, uh, here just now in the park, uh, uh, a few young ladies were uh, walking through the park and I called them over, I started chatting up with them and they were laughing and giggling. I disarmed all four at once. Uh, number one, I have no objective. Number two, I have a light, playful energy. Playful energy, meaning it's not, I gotta have an outcome, this is serious business. That's not my vibe. My vibe is to bring lightness and ease to disarm. Now. And for most guys, and I know what, like a couple of guys who are really funny and they can run up, uh, they're just nonstop funny all the time. And they'll go up and they'll say hi to a girl and they'll kind of, they may startle her, but because they're so funny, a minute later, she'll go from being alarmed to disarmed. And then we can go into the next phase where we get to know her. But uh, most guys cannot do that. Most guys don't have that capability, like literally almost all guys. So really the job is to be disarming which is actually really uh, relieving because that just means you kind of just have to be yourself and take a risk because even if you do it awkwardly, that's disarming. Uh, even if you do it uh, shyly, that's endearing. But as long as you're taking that first risk and every risk that comes after, things are gonna happen for you. So you approach a woman, number one, you gotta give her enough space. So there has to be space. You don't wanna crowd or get too close. Hello, hi, I just saw you, you don't, what's up? You don't want to do that. You, in fact, you want to give her enough space to leave the conversation as she will. And everything's gonna come down to the situation. So let's pretend you're meeting her on the street. You gotta give her enough space just to walk around you and keep moving. If you're uh, standing in line behind her in a, in, a, in a coffee shop, you can you know initiate the conversation, but give enough space like it could end at any time, it's okay. You're not boxing her in directly. Um, if you're on a subway car in an elevator, obviously everyone's kind of stuck in there. So you want to be very, uh, you know, you want to be very disarming and ways of being disarming is obviously space and not having a full on agenda like, wow, you're really hot, I had to meet you. Uh, but instead it just might, might make, be to make a light joke like, uh, what's my favorite elevator joke? Oh, uh, hey, do you mind if I, do you guys mind if I smoke? Ha ha ha. But, or you might just say something about like, just if you're in a, uh, a subway car and you, she makes eye contact with you, I just want you to wave at her. Simply wave, hey, what's up? How are you doing? Good. Uh, that's just small. It could have something to do with um, really noticing, you know, so now you're just talking about the energy of it, but now you really want to notice things. 
So you want to notice things about her so that it's congruent with what's happening now. So what is happening now is you are, uh, she's reading a book sitting on a bench. So that's happening. So because you're tuned into yourself, you're tuned into that what's happening all around you, all around her, and you're tuned into her, that's your best way to approach a woman, being connected, not with a canned line, not with some stupid thing you're about to say. So you might just go up and comment on the book, uh, not with a question, but with a statement, like, wow, that looks like a really uh, big book you're reading. I gotta know what it is. Or, wow, I, I heard that's a great book. Uh, is it true? Or um, something along those lines. Or it could have something to do with the way she walks or talks or moves or um, the energy she emanates or just really just something, the, the, the health she radiates, the, the, the way she is uh, or her literally could be about her beauty, something about her beauty. But it has to be true and it has to be happening now in the moment. It has to really be uh, palpable. And so here's you know, something that's obvious almost. Uh, so here's an example. Of, it could be like, yeah, there could be an attractive girl sitting on a bench uh, with her head down who's, you know, pretty, but she, her frequency might be down. Like maybe she looks sad or really introverted or uh, she has, maybe you just feel like she has no vibe or dark vibe. And Now this is you beyond fear. This is you as an instinctual man tuned in. And then you go up and say, wow, you have such amazing energy. I just had to say hi. That's gonna really turn her off. That's gonna really disconnect her, literally. It's gonna make her feel like what something's not right here. So it's not gonna disarm her, it's going to alarm her. So um, that is the most important part. So you're giving space, and then you're also being tuned into what's happening right here and now. And that makes you seem sane and connected. So it could be anything like anything that's happening now. So those are the way, the best ways to approach a woman. Sometimes, and I'll probably, I hope you leave these questions. Sometimes, yeah, you're like, I just don't see anything. And then you have to ask yourself, why do you want to talk to somebody and you don't actually see something about her, you don't feel something about her, you know? So keep that in mind. All right, uh, so, cause there's always something to appreciate, especially if there's a real woman you want to talk to. All right, I got a dog friend below me and he's gonna get some water. All right, guys, I'm John Keegan, The Awakened Lifestyle, and I will be back uh, with another video soon. Please leave your questions down below. Let's do this. Let's make huge changes in our lives. Let's make, um, let's make this happen, you know? Let me show you what's happening here in the park. My buddy. All right, guys, John Keegan, The Awakened Lifestyle. Peace. Let's do it. Let's do it now. Let's get off your ass now, and let's, and let's make action. Go do an approach.